What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages? Welcome to another book review, the D2 book review here on the Glorious Glorious Steam Blockchain, and of course, D.Tube. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. So I banged through this book this week, and it was it was probably um, it was it was perfect for my experience on Steam, and I think it will be perfect for for the content creators out there. Uh, on Steam as well. So the book is called The Best Story Wins by Matthew Lunn. And this is the book right there. Uh, it's it, it's a, a very, it's a small book. It's only about 130 pages. So that's that's why I got through it pretty quickly. Uh, but um, who is Matthew? He, he's actually a writer and former 20-year Pixar storyteller. So this guy actually uh, drew animation for The Simpsons, uh, but he also worked at Pixar when Pixar was just beginning. And if you know anything about Pixar, you know that they make amazing story-based animation movies. So it was really, really cool. The 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 headline, uh, sorry, the the subtitle under the title of the book is "How to Leverage Hollywood Storytelling in Business and Beyond." So. What this was, was about nine chapters of how to break down a story and how you can use story-based messages for business. And I thought it was really, really cool because uh, a lot of the stuff that we do uh, here on Steam is content creation. And let's be brutally honest, people don't want to sit there and watch someone who's boring and doesn't really have a story to tell. And I'm not saying I have a great story to tell. Not really. I'm working on it. That's why I bought this book. Uh, but it, it's 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 what attracts people. The purple cow, like Seth Godin talks about, like sticking out and how to stick out. Matthew argues is through proper and really effective storytelling, which again I think is right up our alley because if we're content creators, this is this is really what we got to hear. We've got to hear these kind of messages. So um, yeah, the book was really really easy to read. Uh, I'll just go over some of the some of the chapters. He talks about the hook. Kind of, you know, what pulls people in, uh, character transformation, so taking someone who's who seems normal and, and likable, and then the transformation that they go through to reach this, this climax of, of, of change uh, and uh, connecting, uh, authenticity, being authentic in your storytelling, story structure, hero and leaders, cast a character, inspiring creativity, and writing, the, the last chapter was writing tips and techniques, which was really, really helpful too. So uh, just a really, really informative book that would really help um just your you, you know people that 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 are that are really really into developing content that are really really into um pro producing content on a daily basis i think that when we put a story behind it it would really really help this is actually not the only um story based book or uh, the power of storytelling in business book that i've read uh, i read one last year by uh, donald miller uh, geez, I forget the name of it. It's re it was a really, really fantastic book, but it, it was very similar that showed the, the, the ways to take a story from the beginning and take your customer all the way through it. So for me, I do a lot of internet marketing and, and email marketing. So I really was, was infatuated with these messages of storytelling because that's, that's how I try to take a, a, uh, uh, an email. I try to write an email and even blog posts where I'm not the hero of it. The hero has to be your audience. The hero has to be your reader. And that is a, a big part of this book was, was focusing on the, the audience being the hero and how important it is for us to kind of be the mentor, if, if that makes any sense. I know it's kind of a little bit everywhere, but if you read the book, you'll understand that how to properly tell stories in the business environment is to make the hero of the story your audience and then you helping them along their character transformation. So you're like their mentor, you're their 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 leader, their teacher, and you take them and put them as the hero of the story, it's a very, very effective business model. So he uses a ton of real world examples, obviously a lot from the Pixar lessons and a lot of the stuff that, that he learned at Pixar. Uh, I mean, this guy, 20 years at Pixar, so he was there at the start of it. He was there with Toy Story, Bugs Life, uh, Cars, and just a really, really cool book to read, not only for the lessons, but also the the, the history. If you're if you're a film buff or you, you're really into the Pixar stuff, uh, I know I've really enjoyed all the Pixar movies over the years. This was a really, really cool 
inside look, let's say, at the creative process of a lot of these, uh, a lot of these writers and, and, and storyboard animators. Is that what they're called? I have no idea. I'm just, I'm throwing things out like I know anything about Hollywood. I don't. The Best Story Wins, uh, How to Leverage Hollywood Storytelling in Business and Beyond by Matthew Lunn. Really, really good book. I'm pretty sure if you're a content creator, you will enjoy this even more uh, than, than just someone who's picking it up for, for the history of Pixar, which is, which is great, too. It was really, really good. So, uh, yeah, The Best Story Wins, uh, Matthew Lunn, really, really cool book and definitely something that will help you on your journey of developing content and effective communication with your audience. So, Definitely pick it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the book review. Have a great, great weekend. Remember, I upvote all comments and I give away SBI units every now and again. So I hope you guys enjoyed the, the video and I will see you later. Toodles.